Democrats, independents, newly former Republicans, it's time for a team huddle. Now I know people are tired and not everybody feels like mobilizing for the elections this year like they did in 2018 and 2020. But from now until November 8th, that is exactly what we've got to do. Because when we do, we win. Look, you don't need to be an actual White House communications director or a fictional one for that matter to recognize that as dangerous as these MAGA politicians are, they're also vulnerable. Because most Americans don't want the government putting more restrictions on a woman's body than on an AR-15. They don't want to end Social Security and Medicare in five years. And they don't want to end democracy as we know it. And Democrats have a damn good record to run on, like lowering health care costs for tens of millions of people, finally raising taxes on big corporations, and the biggest clean energy program to fight climate change in the history of the world, all of which passed, by the way, without one single Republican vote. These things are happening because in 2018, 2020, regular people got to work organizing in the community, making calls, knocking on doors, all of it. So what do you say? Let's do it again. Not just out of fear for what the other guys might do if they get power, but out of pride for what we've done with ours and for what we can do in the future if we keep the House and get two more votes in the Senate, like codifying Roe into law, passing a new Voting Rights Act, preserving free and fair elections, pushing back on the wealthy corporations that are taking the rest of America for a ride, and protecting our freedoms, which are ever more precious. Now, there's a new website up called bluein22.org, a one-stop shop with all the resources you need to get involved, volunteering, donating, voter registration, social media, the whole nine yards. So please go there right now and sign up and take action. Together we can go blue in 22.